All right, folks, this is a little bit different content here, okay? You need to pay attention to this, and you need to talk to your critters in Congress and the FTC because they are violating the law. This new thing called COPPA, C-O-P-P-A, Child Online Privacy Protection Act, it's out of control. And if it doesn't get changed, it's going to pretty much destroy YouTube as you know it. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. You see, we have to begin marking our videos as either made for adults or made for children. Now, the first thing to keep in mind, if you mark your video made for children, you're done. All right, your video is hosed, it's done, it's dead, your channel is dead. Because if you mark your video as for children, there's no tracking, no comments, no community tab, no watch lists, no playlists, um, no um, saving the videos, no community tab, um, no your video will never be suggested, your video will never be recommended, and you will never get targeted ad, which is 90% of your revenue, okay? So if you're making a thousand bucks a month on YouTube, I'm making about a hundred, but if you're making a thousand bucks a month on YouTube, now you're gonna make a hundred bucks. <laughs> okay, because targeted ads is where it's at. Nobody wants general ads. You know, 90% of your revenue is targeted ads. So all that goes away. But that's irrelevant, okay? That's irrelevant. I mean, I'm a 3D printing channel, okay? What the hell do I have to do with kids, okay? Um, you know, I print out my, you know, Adelinda Dragon or something like that, or I show you a, a new printer I'm working on. No big deal, right? Yeah, but, um, you know. Uh-oh. That's bright colors. Could that be attractive to kids? It makes funny noises. That could be attractive to kids. It's a train whistle. Kids like trains. That could be attractive to kids. So does printing out a whistle suddenly make my video attractive to kids? Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, you know, you marked your videos for adults, but see, that's what people don't understand. It doesn't matter. It does not matter what you marked it as. Let me show you something. If YouTube is informing channel creators that they need to be COPPA compliant, they go through the training, Moving forward, content creators are more at a risk than the actual platform at being fined. Content creators are always at risk of being fined because they're the con the, the, and the and channel owners because there we have a situation where we have a website or an online service that is directed to children. Did you hear that? You see, here's what people don't understand. It doesn't matter what your channel is directed at. It matters what they decree by fiat your channel is directed at. Read the actual wording of COPA compliance. The wording is so incredibly vague that it could literally cover anything. Um, if I smile while wearing a bright green shirt, they could decree by fiat that that is attractive to children and therefore I'm in violation. I'm not kidding. The, the, this is literally uh, FTC. If you're watching this, you guys are fucking nuts. Like there's something wrong with your brains. Like literally you guys need to go see a psychologist because there's something wrong with you people. Okay. This is not a case of a person making kid content and marketing it as adult. This is a case of adults making adult content and then some politician or bureaucrat or whoever decreeing, I think that's attractive to kids, therefore you're in violation. Let me give you an analogy of just how batshit insane this is. This would be like me saying, everybody who drives down this road, there's now a speed limit. What's the speed limit? I'm not telling you. What? But you said there's a speed limit. That's right but I'm not telling you what the speed limit is. Well, then how do we know if we're speeding or not? I'll decide that. And it's arbitrary, and it can change, 
and I decide it by fiat anytime I wish. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. That's what COPA says. COPA says we have a speed limit, and we're not going to tell you what the speed limit is. We are going to set conditions so broad, so vague, and so inclusive of everything that is out there that we are going to be able to decree by fiat any video we want is kid content. I could make a video where I say fuck, 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 fuck every 10 seconds and it won't matter if I have some nice brightly colored animated characters in the background. They'll call that attractive to kids. <laughs> I could make a porno flick of people jerking off to each other and if there's animated characters in the background they could say that's attractive to kids, and you're in violation of COPA. I'm not kidding. Actual lawyers have looked at this law and said, we can't help you. We can't tell you if your video is in violation or not, because the terms and conditions are so absolutely broad and vague that they can determine and decree by fiat any video they want is in violation of COPA. <laughs> and they could fine you up to $42,000 per video. <laughs> <laughs> so the only way for you to not be in violation is to mark all your videos as kid directed which nukes your channel literally what you think that line in youtube's terms of service that says we could terminate a channel that's no longer commercially viable was put there by accident <laughs> talk about a purge <laughs> I mean, I mean, I make, I have a channel that is clearly, clearly not intended to be directed at 13 and under children. I mean, it, it's adults playing with 3D printers. A 12-year-old, well, I don't even know, how, how, I have no idea how many 12-year-olds could build one of these printers. I don't know. I've seen some pretty damn smart 12-year-olds. But the, the point is, my content is clearly not kid-oriented, but some moron in the FTC... And, uh, and yes, you guys are morons. All right, uh, whoever you are, you're a moron. There's something wrong with your brain and you need to be examined, okay? Because you've literally said there is now a $42,000 per instance fine for speeding, but we are not going to tell you any possible way for you to determine what the speed limit is or any possible way for you to determine in advance whether or not your video would be exceeding that speed limit. <laughs> I, I, I mean, someone gets a, like, this guy gets a bug up his ass because I called him a moron, so he declares my videos not kid safe. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? Seriously. There's a link down below. And I told them in not polite terms what I think of them <laughs> in my comment click it and file your comment it's not gonna help it's not gonna do anything protests won't work petitions won't work they never work they don't work they just make people feel good okay people in power do not listen to petitions because they don't have to <laughs> they have the sticks they have the guns they have the courts okay they will ignore you and do what they want anyway the only way you can get change, and I don't know how to do this. I can't do anything. The only way you can get change is to sue them. Okay? Enough people have to get together to sue them to make it painful enough for them to change this. <laughs> okay? Because this is insane. I mean, this is literally, absolutely insane. I don't know what else to say. I mean, get up off your butts and talk to your politicians because this is going to be bad. <laughs> I mean, a guy, an adult who works with Legos, okay? Now we're talking serious Lego work. Like, you know those little drawers that you get? You have all your screws and bolts in it? Well, he has an entire wall of those filled with Legos, okay? This is not kid content. This is adults buying these Legos. Kids can't afford to do what these guys do. 40% of his videos, videos have already been marked by the YouTube algorithm as kid content. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do I have to be careful what I print out? I mean, are there certain things that are now taboo for me to print out because they might be considered attractive to kids? So if I print out a toy car, I'm violating the law? I mean, wow. <laughs> Please, get your head examined, buddy. <laughs>
there's something wrong with you. There, there's really something wrong with you. For you guys to be able to come on a live broadcast and say what you just said with a straight face and pass this law with a straight face means there's something wrong with you. You're, you're fucked up in the head somewhere. 